All right, today um, we have a patient with a pick line, uh, non-tunneled with a clamp. Um, this does have a cap on it. Uh, if it didn't, we would have to scrub the hub. Uh, I just don't have a cap. Um, he has a pick line uh, for the administration of IV meds and we have an order to draw a blood for a CBC. Um, so I am going to gather my supplies. I'm gonna go into the room, uh, wash my hands, introduce myself, uh, talk to the patient, get his name, date of birth, uh, and check the wristband, explain the procedure, check my orders. And then I'm gonna put on gloves. And first I'm gonna get my saline flush. I'm gonna take the cap off. I'm going to unclamp and every time I use a syringe, uh, when I take it off, I'll clamp and uh, unclamp to do anything else. Uh, I'm just not going to say it every time, but I'm going to do it every time. So I'm going to put the saline on and I'm going to put about a half a mil in and I would have all prime. I would have primed this one and I will for all the other ones. And then I'm going to get a flashback of blood and then I'm going to pulse this through. And I'm going to get my heparin. And we're going to do three mils of heparin, two in, two and a half in, and then at the last half I'm going to clamp while I put it in. Then I'm going to get my saline flush. I'm going to pulse that through. I'm going to get my discard blood, about six mils. I'm going to discard that. And I'm gonna do my blood draw. Do about 4.5 mils. I'm gonna set that to the side. And then I'm gonna do 20 mils of saline flush. Pulsing. And then I'll get the heparin and I'll do another three mils and the last half will be where I clamp it. And then I would put the cap back on and then I would get my blood and I would attach it to the vacutainer. And I would get my tube and I'd wait for it to fill up. And then I would invert it eight to 10 times and I would label it, stick it in the bag, time, date, and then send it to the lab. And wash my hands. And now we're gonna do the dressing change. So I'm gonna come in, wash my hands. I'm gonna get a mask on and I'm gonna give one to my patient as well. Then I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna put gloves on.
and I'm going to tell my patient to look away and because we don't have any extra tegaderm strips I'm just going to say that I will be I would be pulling up the sides of the tegaderm strip while inspecting the site and then pulling it off making sure there's no tenderness no redness <clears throat> and then I'm going to get my dressing change tray and before I do that I'm going to remove my gloves and wash my hands and then I'm going to get my my kit I'm going to grab my sterile gloves and this will be my sterile field I'm gonna lay this over the patient. First, I'm going to take my Chlorhex solution, crack it, and then go in a Z formation away from the line. Then I will grab my alcohol swab and I will lift the line and go down, making sure to clean the whole line and under. And then I'll let that dry and I'll take off my gloves. And then I will take my tape and make sure I tent it a little bit and uh, tape that down and then I'll get my new tegaderm strip and I'll place it and I'll smooth out going from the line outwards making sure it's flat and then I'll date and time stamp that I will um, uh, wash hands, make sure the bed is in a low and locked position, uh, call light, and document.